We are here at the rooftop of the Zuid-Esmarke Tower Flat, which is a tower flat um, in the eastern part of Enschede. And here we have two systems that are shooting a beam towards the other side of the city, where the receivers are of these signals. And the receivers are on the Horst Towers, which are on the campus of Twente University. Now, I said we have two systems. Um, the right one is shooting a beam in the optical part of the electromagnetic spectrum, and that one is measuring um, the sensible heat flux, and that is the heat, basically. The left one is doing the same, but then in the microwave part of the electromagnetic spectrum, and that part is more sensitive to water vapor. So that one is measuring, basically, uh, the EVAP transpiration. Um, both are carried by the same uh, mechanism, namely turbulence. You can maybe um, compare that to what you see on a hot day over a road, you see the air is like twinkling a little bit. So the amount of twinkling um, is a measure for the amount of evapotranspiration that is um, coming from the city. As you may know, ITC is known for um, uh, using satellites and airborne imagery to have like a spatial overview of the Earth. So what we're trying to do in principle is to, to get an impression of this phenomena by satellite or by airborne observations. This is a kind of calibration and validation for uh, obtaining that information from the satellite. We also do these measurements for having like long-term observations and compare them with observations that are made elsewhere. Here we are specifically interested in a phenomenon, what is called the uh, urban heat island effect. The air basically over a city is warmer than in rural areas. Uh, and that is specifically pronounced during the night. As the day develops and the sun is getting higher, um, the material in the city is such that it is heating up much more than in a rural area. So during the day, the warming up is, is more. And as a consequence, that heat is also remaining there in the night. So therefore, in the night, the city is usually hotter than in a rural area. A lot of people would say, oh, it's nice if it's a little bit warmer in the city. Um, but especially during the night, you may experience problems while you're trying to, to get some sleep. Uh, when there is more heat, you know, your sleep will be, will be more difficult. Uh, and then there is the effect of mortality even. Uh, you and me, we will probably not suffer so much that we would die from it. But uh, the elderly uh, and people with uh, underlying health problems may suffer uh, from heat. So we compare the city of Enschede, how, how does that behave under the different conditions in different seasons? How does that compare to Amsterdam? And can we learn something from that? For example, in Amsterdam, you have the canals who may have a cooling effect in certain days. Here we have more green. Uh, so you can compare the different type of cities and how do they behave on the long term, for example. Um, that means in seasons, but it can also be compared um, from year to year. So from that we get a spatial overview and you can see in which parts of the city your problem is largest and you can maybe uh, take measures for that. For example, by putting more green uh, in a certain area that has the biggest problem. Mm -hmm.